Someone really should stop them. Hi, my name is Jason and welcome to my YouTube channel, Jason Explains Things. Do you like videos where a dad walks around and talks about camping equipment and like what camping equipment he likes and stuff? You do? Weird. Well, this is the video for you. Come along with my dog Toby, my daughters Marley and Ripley, and my buddy Chris and his four kids as we camp next to a beautiful river in the central Cascade Mountains. I'll chat about some of my favorite camping gear, some I just got recently and some I've had for decades. But I want to leave this video with the most important point. It does not matter what gear you have. What matters is getting outside and making memories with your family and friends. With that out of the way, let's start with probably the most important thing to bring along, a tent. As a dad, there is literally nothing worse in the entire world than setting up complicated tents. That is why I am a Gigungus fan of that. So this is a gazelle tent, but uh, the cool thing about this, as they say, you can set it up in 90 seconds. So let's see how fast I set this up. This is the good stuff right here. why I love this tent. <laughs> so again, in here there's tons of space for multiple people to sleep, especially on the ground. But I, because I have such a crappy back, I like to use a cot. Um, this one I think we actually just got at Costco like uh, three months ago or so. It says forest service on it. I, I think it's probably just made in China like everything else. But anyway, it's extremely comfortable. Um, and you can put uh, two of these in here with a little bit of space in the middle. The only negative about the Gazelle are the stakes that it comes with. They're really easy to bend, so I replace them with some traditional stakes. On the smaller and more affordable side, I also love this backpacking tent from Mountain Summit Gear. Even though I forgot how to set this up because I hadn't used it in over a year, I still got this one up in about four minutes. The ladies like their own space, so they didn't want to share the Gazelle with me. Nice and cozy in there with some self-inflating pads and some insulated sleeping bags. The ground, the sky, the trees. So one of the fun things about a camping setup these days especially are newfangled things like camping, uh, portable refrigerators, and power stations. So let me give you a brief tour of what we got going on here. First off, again, none of this stuff is sponsored, okay? Uh, everything was purchased at full price. Maybe some coupons were involved, but other than that, nothing, none of that stuff. So we got over here, this is an Iceco VL60 Pro something something refrigerator. I'll put down what it is over here. Um, it's awesome. Uh, it's got its own, you know, uh, AC DC converter built in. Uh, we got a bunch of different settings for like Max for, you know, if you're plugged into a wall or Eco if you're running off a portable power station like this one. It's got interior lighting, it's got ther thermometer settings, all sorts of stuff. It's really, really cool. You can run it off of uh, AC, you can run it off of DC power. Um, and then of course you can do what we have going on here. And then, so this is an Anchor 757 uh, power station. It uh, has a max uh, rating, not, not, I think it's 3000 watts peak, but 1500 watts continuous. Uh, and then it's, I think, 1300 watt hours. So, uh, and then right above here, I have a, uh, I think it's called All Powers. It's, it's just kind of like a no-name brand off of Amazon, but we have a 200 watt solar panel kind of sitting up here, partially in the sunlight up on the top of my canopy. So. With this setup, currently, as it's running, I could run for 35 hours, as things are right now with the uh, 
with it cooling at around 39 degrees. Um, currently, we've got uh, 38 watts going out to power the fridge, and then we have 55 watts coming in from the solar panel. Well, some of us don't have fridges, but what we do- I have... just got it, I, I understand. I'm new to that too. <laughs> this is actually just kind of a cool little Yeti knockoff that I found honestly at Walmart. Um, and it's a lifetime, lifetime warranty on it. Got the latches and everything. It's bear proof probably, Rawr. maybe, we'll see. US made? US made. At Walmart, that's weird. And it's been doing great so far. Let's stick to the subject of food. You can't go wrong with the traditional Coleman propane camping stove. The model I have has been manufactured exactly as you see it here for decades. In fact, here's a photo of little baby Jason and you can see my parents' stove off to the right. I've had my personal stove for over 18 years with zero problems. Pair the stove with a cast iron skillet and you're set. Now, we still need to chat about making coffee, but we'll do that towards the end. Hey, Chris has some sort of newfangled Coleman stove. Let's check it out. Chris, I haven't seen that stove before. What, what, what's that? It's a grill and a stove all together. So pretty much just one burner. Right. One burner and then, and then, a, and then a propane grill. Yep. Nice. If you're interested in the table, it's an REI co-op camp prep table. I absolutely love it because it's easy to set up and it's very rugged. Current price as I edit this video is around $150, but keep an eye out for sales. I think I snagged it earlier this spring for around $90. feed you food. I cook for you children. <laughs> it's huge. It's for you. Want beans? No. <laughs> Get your junk food. Come on, we got junk <laughs> food. Oh no. Hey, another very important piece of equipment for camping is the camping chair. Ladies and gentlemen, I behold unto you the greatest chair ever made. Best camping chair, number two in my opinion, this 15 to 18 year old Ozark Trail chair from Walmart that I bought back in college and it still works just fine. Oh, that's so good. Best stereo for camping, an old crappy Ryobi stereo that I bought on clearance a long, long time ago. Why is it the best? Because I own it and it works. My personal favorite thing about this uh, stereo is first it has Bluetooth and it has AM, FM. Also, it runs off of these Ryobi batteries, or if you want to, can run it off an extension cord. Oh. Hi, Connor. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're gross. I uh, know I ain't. You're gross. I'm living. Yeah, I'm living. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's cool. There it is. <laughs> ah. Oh yeah, there's some. Oh, there's a bunch. Last but not least, coffee. My awesome wife got me this Stanley pour over set for Father's Day this year. Works great, even has a built-in filter. Couldn't be better or easier to use. Good Father's Day gift, baby. The most important thing about camping though, isn't the gear or anything like that. It's just getting out there and doing it, especially if you have kids like me who still think I'm not completely lame. You gotta, you gotta hang out with them as much as possible. <laughs> anyway, guys, God bless, and until next time, don't forget to do it yourself. <laughs>